Holly is a 22-year-old senior at the University of Delaware and a complete idiot. We interviewed her a few years ago about her obsession with Santa Claus and have since learned that she still believes in leprechauns, even amidst the hundreds of hate comments she received on our YouTube page. Her family and friends were hopeful that she would recover throughout her time in college, but she seems even worse than she was when we originally met. Top of the morning to ya! Who's ready to catch some leprechauns? Hey, I'm Holly. Welcome back. I was asked to be on this show a few years ago to show off my epic Elf on the Shelf collection, but the director made me look like a complete idiot. I was young and dumb, and I still believed in Santa. Sue me. But I'm not 18 anymore. I'm 22 now, and I've matured, and I've since learned that Santa is not real. The hate comments were unnecessary, but ultimately, I guess, gave me the reality check that I did need. But I'm done wasting my time on that kid's stuff. This year, I've decided to grow up. Telling her about Santa was kind of a defining moment in our relationship. Um, she has not been the same since. I told her when she was 20 years old, and to say that she was devastated was quite an understatement. We thought this whole charade would end her mindless belief in mythical characters, but she sure is persistent. I was a little bit disappointed to learn that my parents were the ones actually moving my elves every night, but I was relieved to know that leprechauns are still the cold hard truth. Every year I receive five gold coins from the leprechauns. My dad is so cheap, he wouldn't even lend me a dollar if I asked. Back in my day, everything costs a nickel, blah, blah, blah. It's evidence, they're real. Every year I go to the bank and I ask them if I could withdraw five $1 coins for my daughter. Um, they also ask if I want lollipops for my kids. Um, and I say no, my adult is just fine. This year, I'm taking extra precautions to make sure that the leprechauns have nothing but the utmost experience at our house. Now that I don't have Santa Claus to worry about, I can give them my full, undivided attention. So, I've decided to create an intricate little path across our kitchen floor, so they know where to go in the middle of the night. We've been on STN since freshman year, so we saw Holly's first interview when it aired on bi-weekly, and, you know, we didn't actually meet her in person until after the whole Santa Claus thing got broken to her. So we thought it gotten better since, but little did we know she still believes in leprechauns. I literally saw her the other day in the kitchen laying a trail of green sprinkles on the kitchen floor. The other day, she asked me to buy some supplies for her traps, so naturally I bought mouse traps. I assumed maybe she saw one or something. She's scared of them. But when I came home with them, she lectured me on leprechaun cruelty. I shouldn't have filled the fourth bedroom with someone random. <sighs> Doing all this work to prepare for the leprechauns every year is exhausting. But I guess it's nothing in comparison to the work these leprechauns have to do. I mean, at only two inches tall, they travel all across the world in one night delivering coins to children everywhere. Holly's close friends and family are concerned about her imagination, so they've concocted a plan to help gently break the news to her. With the help of their neighbor, they've decided to bring in what Holly thinks is a real-life leprechaun. I've lived next door to Holly all semester long, and I always thought she was kind of cute, so I'm hoping that if I play along, she'll actually think I'm a leprechaun and agree to go out with me. I've been told that there is a special St. Patrick's Day surprise headed my way this afternoon, and I simply cannot wait. This is my last chance to save Holly. Her brother is quickly rising to the top as my favorite child, and I will be devastated if I can't salvage our relationship because of these damn leprechauns. If this doesn't work, I'm moving out. Anyone see me pot of gold? <gasps> oh, dear God. You look like a lucky little lassie now, don't ya? Have you been a good girl this year, or a naughty one? Oh, I've been good. I've been so good. I can't believe you're here. This is the best day ever! Mr. Leprechaun, don't you have something to tell Holly? Something about what all you and your friends are doing this time of year, really? Ah, of course. The Leprechauns and I are taking a trip to the end of the rainbow later tonight. Would you like to join us? I think we're gonna get lucky. Well, don't just stand there. Come on! Away we go! I need to call my landlord. Daughter? I don't have a daughter anymore. This is the best St. Patrick's Day ever! And with that, we leave Holly right where we found her. Delusional 
irritating, and ready to embarrass herself once more. Will Holly continue down this path of destruction as Easter time rapidly approaches? Tune into True Life next week to find out.